Hello and welcome to Dress My Craft YouTube channel. If you are new here, do subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon to never miss a video from us. Today's video is all about DIY lipstick pens. Yes, these are customizable pens which looks like a lipstick. How cool is that? In this video, we will teach you how to create these pens. So let's begin. Let's start by having a quick look at these finished pens. They look gorgeous, right? As you can see, we have a variety of four different pastel shades in these pens and all of them have different fillings inside. Some have dry flowers, some have shaker slices in them, some have sprinkles and some have shrink pink as well. Okay, so now let's see how the empty pens look like and let's understand the parts of the pen. On the bottom, you have this empty cylinder twist it to open as shown you will find this refill here keep it aside the top part is actually the pen part lipstick top is the cap for the pen for now we don't need this part of the pen so we are going to keep it aside in our mini funnel tray now let's pick the cylindrical bottom this is our working area you see there is a lid we need to open it up this lid already comes a little loose so it's easier for you to open it here we want to advise you to not to close this cap tightly onto the cylinder while it's empty because then it might get stuck or you may have difficulty opening it up again now keep this lid aside as well and the cylinder part is what we will be working with to start with take crystal clear oil from this my craft to open this bottle, either make a hole on top using a pen or just simply cut it from top using scissors. Drop this cap attached on the side of this bottle and place it on the top to close the bottle. So this is the oil which we are going to fill in the pens. Next we will need these fine tip tweezers from Dress My Craft. This tool will help us place different elements inside the pen. Next up, we have this adhesive named B6000. It is a strong adhesive. Then you will need some masking tape. Take any which is available with you. Make sure it is low tack. Now, last but not the least, we will need lots of yummy shakers, slices, sequins, etc. to fill in the pens. Here is a small range of slices that we will be using today. We have some pineapples, some onions, some cupcakes we also have stars hearts and mickey faces as well next we are picking some colorful sequins look at the lovely shades this time it's heart shaped we have some bright shades in here as well you see we have an unending range of sequins in our store actually there are star shaped ones and here comes the yummy sprinkles. Moving forward, we have some gorgeous flower pulse in the beautiful colors. In addition to this, we also have a beautiful range of unicorn beads. To add some delicacy, you can also pick dry flowers to add into your pens. We have a great range of dry flowers consisting different shapes, sizes and colors. So now, Pick your favorite combinations from all these elements and let's get crafting. We are starting with the dark pink lipstick pen. To fill that, we have picked pink flower pulse, white flower pulse, dark pink sprinkles and pastel heart sprinkles. To add some more bling, you may also choose any one glitter from the variety we have in store. For this pen, we will be picking up microfine glitter powder. Let's pick rest of the tools as well and let's begin. Firstly, we are going to fill a small amount of oil into the cylinder. Now, the question is how much oil to fill inside. So here you see the cap size. You need to fill the pen a little below this cap. Also, if you want the elements inside to stay still, then fill it to the top, touching the cap itself. But if you want things to move inside the pen, then fill only two third part of the pen. Doing this will create a large air bubble inside and this will make the elements inside move. 
okay so let's pick the hard slices and pour them in funnel tray doing this will make it easy to pick a particular color so here we are picking up pinks and whites adding them inside the pan then add some more oil into the pan and then add a pinch of glitter keep adding rest of the elements one by one in small quantities and then add some more oil now just keep on filling it add some more flower pearls and some more slices as well once you reach the half level take a wooden stick and mix all the elements together as shown once done let's fill the pan a little bit more keep on adding the elements in whatever sequence and in any quantity as per your liking but make sure not to overfill otherwise it won't close here we are adding some more pastel heart shaker slices some more sprinkles and then some oil too mix everything up when you are happy with the with it keep it aside for a few minutes to settle down and now bring back the pen pick up the cap and also pick up the masking tapes and glue as well now it's time to close the pen here we just want to inform that the cap itself is quite very tight so to close this pen completely you can you actually don't have to seal the pen with the glue but just to be extra cautious and extra sure we recommend using a glue now we will add b6000 glue around the sides of the cap as shown then place it inside the pen to close it keep holding the cap for few seconds otherwise it will pop back because of air pressure quickly take a tissue to wipe off extra glue from the cap now take a piece of masking tape and wrap it on top of the pen as shown this will make sure that the cap settles down inside the pen permanently and there is no leakage afterwards now let's keep it aside and let's move forward to the next one which is this light blue lipstick pen for this pen we picked up snow white flappers light blue round sequins sparkling dust and lastly some pretty blue dry flowers now let's quickly open up the pen and then remove the cap from bottom cylinder again a quick reminder don't try to fix this cap on the empty pen it may get stuck now let's keep all the parts of pen aside and take the bottom cylinder for working take crystal clear oil and pour a little amount of oil inside the cylinder add some white flower pearls then some sequins and lastly a pinch of glitter add some more oil into it now take a wooden stick and mix all the elements well inside it next let's pick dry flowers and chop the flowers from top as shown with the help of scissors handle them gently as they are quite fragile cut 10 to 12 buds now pick them up with tweezers and put a few in the pen afterwards add some more oil into it then add few sequins flower pearls as well as some glitter add few more dry flowers now it looks quite full so let's add more oil into it and again mix everything well with the help of a stick fill it with some more oil until the 2/3 mark now let's stick the cap to do that apply b6000 glue around the cap and then place it on top
using a tissue clean up extra glue and then secure it with a masking tape keep it aside to settle down here showing you some more examples of how you can create different combinations with different elements in this particular color so enjoy the same pick your favorites among these and you can use these references to recreate your own diy lipstick pens moving forward to the next lipstick pen this is a very soft shade in purple family we have kept it open already let's quickly remove the cap as well and keep it aside for the time being here we have picked up matching elements such as unicorn beads white and purple sprinkles rainbow glitters purple heart sequins and lastly purple flower pearls before we begin let's see some ready samples we have for you all have different mixes in them you can customize as per your liking if you don't want matching colors you can also combine it with a contrasting color such as yellow as we have done over here now let's start creating first things first take crystal clear oil and pour some inside the pen using a spoon add some unicorn beads then add some purple flower pearls after that add some sequins now it's time to add some more oil now to add some more bling to it add a pinch of glitter then add some white and purple sprinkles add as much quantities as you want to then pour in some more oil now it's time to mix everything well using a wooden stick once it's all mixed up nicely look how beautifully all elements are merged together and the mixture is looking so vibrant we are loving it hope you are too now it looks quite full so we don't want to put anything more except for the oil now it's time to close the pen for that quickly grab the cap and the glue apply the glue around the cap as shown if you don't have this one you may also take e6000 or yuhu glue any strong glue will work now put it on the pen and press it down with the help of tissue wipe off any excess glue which is coming out make sure to press it down very tightly as we are doing right here Now wrap a piece of masking tape on top of it and around the cap as shown and keep it aside to settle down for some time. And here's the last pen for the day. A light pink shade lipstick pen. Let's quickly open it up and keep all the other pieces aside except for the bottom cylinder. Grab the crystal clear oil and start with pouring it a little. Here you see we have already picked our mix. There is one special ingredient though. We will be adding these gorgeous dry flowers inside this pen. So let's first start adding natural unicorn beads. Then add some pink star sequins. Then some white flower pearls and a pinch of glitter. And lastly some pink sprinkles. Now add a little oil over this mix. Using a wooden stick, mix everything well together as shown. As you can see, we have filled one third portion by now. Now we will add some dry flowers inside it. So first of all, chop a bunch of them using scissors as shown. This time we will be leaving a small stem. If you want, you can cut the stem all together and only keep the flowers. If you do that the mix is going to look something like this as you can see in this sample but if you are keeping the stem then the result will look something like this so you have to choose the look that you want to go with and and accordingly choose the method of cutting the flowers 
Now see the length of the stem and keep it shorter so that it fits well inside the pen. Now carefully add the flower inside the pen using tweezers and keep it straight. Then pour some oil over it. Now to make sure that the oil is nicely spread around the flowers, simply hold the cylinder and tap it down onto the desk, keeping it straight up. This will create some more space inside the pen and fill the empty gaps around the flower. Now we will take another bunch, a smaller one this time and add it inside carefully. Here we are chopping a bunch of three flowers with the stem, cutting the stem short so it fits properly inside the pen. Now carefully put it inside and with the help of tweezers adjust it in place. Now to hide the stem from the back which are showing, add a single flower as shown. Set it carefully with the help of tweezers. And once you are done, add some more oil into it. Tap it again to settle the oil. Using a wooden stick. Add some glitter inside as shown for some more shine. And lastly, pour some more oil until two third area. And keep tapping it in between once everything is settled. Take the cap and B6000 glue. Add the glue around the cap as shown and place the cap inside the pen to close it. Press it down tightly and clean the excess glue with a tissue. Lastly take a piece of masking tape and wrap it around the cap and keep it aside to dry. Now all the pens we created earlier are all settled down so it's time to finish them up. Firstly, remove the masking tape from the top of all the pens. If you see there is some residue of adhesive on the pens, clean it up with the tissue. Now take the pink lipstick first, insert the refill inside it as shown. Take the bottom part and place the refill inside this cavity and close it by rotating it. And finally add the cap on and your first lipstick pen is ready. How pretty it is. I hope you are loving it as much as we do. Similarly close the rest all the pen as we have done previously. Here all the supplies we have used are available in our store, link to which is given in the description below. So you can check it there. And here is closing the last pen for the day. And finally here is all the gorgeous lipstick pens we created today. We are loving each and every one of them. Tell us which one is your favorite among these. And if you have any queries, feel free to reach out to us in the comments below. So that's all for today. Thank you so much for watching. And don't forget to grab your DIY lipstick pens today. Create them yourself and do share your creations with us. See you again in the next video. Until then, bye bye and happy crafting.